Hello everybody, welcome back to Black Lotus Oracle. How are you doing? This will be a quickie reading for Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, can I be a private dancer? Dancer for money, do what you want me to do. I'm your private dancer. Dance for money, any old music will do. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like the song should feel so much more fun than what it is, but it's actually sort of sad and dreary. It's like, yeah, I'll dance. I'm thinking, I'm picking up on, I call it the. the cheap strip clubs where the strippers wear like dresses prom dresses from the 80s and they they chain smoke cigarettes while they're dancing you know what i mean <laughs> so someone here could be a stripper um yeah but not like the king of diamonds the office not perfections, not KOD dancer. Or you could be that dancer. You could be that hot Lana dancer, the one that drives around in the Maybach. But I feel like, I feel like, no. But let's see. Sleeping Beauty. All right. <laughs> you know, I used to watch, um, Jasmine's Cabaret. Do it like it's my B-Day, baby. Do it like it's my B-Day. Someone is giving me stripper vibes. And what's funny is um, when I hopped online and I, uh, I started dating online. This is why I don't like dating online anymore. Um, I was on the Facebook dating app. And I saw this really gorgeous girl, really gorgeous, nice skin, all natural, uh, fit, you know, she was giving me all this goddess energy vibes, um, you know, she looked like, oh, we could go to the, um, we could totally... I could take her to the poetry cafes type of thing. Um, she looks like she is draped in coconut oil. That type of <laughs> that type of girl. This is what the pictures were giving me. That's why I say these pictures lie. So um, one day we heard me my, my former best friend and i heard about the show uh, jasmine's uh what is it jocelyn's cabaret and on on youtube so we signed up for zeus and um and we started watching jocelyn's cabaret and we were watching the auditions okay this is definitely rated r but we're adults okay <sighs> I hate the, the all the spiritual channels that like cringe at the word sex like even though I abstain from having sex for five years I'm still a very sexual person like sex is healthy as long as you are healthy and your partner's healthy and you both don't do things that like vi violate each other or like humiliate each other like, if you like to be humiliated, some people like that. Some people like, um, what do you call it? Sadism? You know, some people like a little bit of pain. I'm not judging you. Like, some people like the whole furry, like, furry lifestyle. Some people are into all sorts of things. And as long as you're a consenting adult... Being with another consenting adult, I pass no judgments. 
I believe that you should have a healthy, balanced sex life. So let's get into it. My former best friend and I and her girlfriend, we would watch Jasmine's Cabaret. And so we watched the auditions. Mind you, as we're watching the auditions, it's hilarious. Like, <laughs> I'm going to say the show got really ratchet. And at some points, it was like so annoying. It was like, it created migraines in my mind. I just like to watch the women dance. That's the only reason why I would really like the show. Um, anyway, so as we're watching the auditions, the girl that I just saw on Facebook, on the Facebook dating app is like dancing and she's talking about like having a sugar daddy, even though she's homeless. And not only was she dancing, like she was dancing with the toy inside of her <laughs> They're not going to let me, they're not going to let me publish this, but whatever. A, a, adult to other adults, whoever's viewing this, this is life. Like, yes, sex workers are real. Strippers are real. Like, why, why does YouTube, can, can I discuss these things without being censored? Anyway, so it's like, oh my God. I'm so glad that I watched Jasmine's Cabaret because what if I actually started talking to this girl and she could have came up with a whole bunch of lies about who she is and what she does. And here she is, a stripper, escort, probably a prostitute. You know what I mean? Like looks are very deceiving. People can live a plethora of different lives behind the scenes. Anyway, so yeah, I'm getting <laughs> something here about about dancers. I don't want to make this too long. It's already seven minutes. Uh, the tower card and gossip. <sighs> so uh, we're dealing with taboos. When I think about when I think about the tower card, I think about scorpionic energy and I think about like social taboos. So I'm getting like sex worker energy. I'm getting like, um, I don't know, someone might be a, a, a dominatrix on the side. Like someone here could be a, a professional on one hand, but like the, the flip side of them is like they might be a dominatrix or like they might run a like a pornography website or a, a sex worker website or maybe it's like something that's completely legalized where you just it's all adults and you can watch them do what they do sleeping beauty when i think of sleeping beauty i'm sorry i'm just i have to be honest on this channel if this doesn't get published then whatever when i think of sleepy mood beauty in context of what's going on here i'm thinking of like a a, a gang bang <laughs> because there's like multiple men and one woman so on one spectrum this could be like a a porn star who Yeah, and when I see this, this is like my card for publicity. Um, or like a, a Twitter, like a network. <sighs> or like someone who's being discussed on the web, like Twitter. Like someone is going viral maybe because of this. But it's like the tower in reverse. It's like that bad publicity is actually good publicity. Um, so I don't know if like a celebrity is getting caught up in a sex tape or hopefully someone was not spiked, like the drink wasn't spiked and they ended up being gang raped by a group of men. Hopefully not. that's not the circumstance. I'm getting more someone who is... Um, 
who runs a, a network of either dancers or like escorts or something of this nature. I feel like someone is like either the leader of um, these women. It could be a very small network operation or it could be like a big thing, a big operation. Who is this for? This is for Kansa, private dancer. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Mm-hmm.